Hi, Laura here, certified Pilates instructor and personal trainer. And today we are going to be talking about how to get better at your Pilates roll up. So the Pilates roll up is traditionally the second exercise in the mat Pilates system. And I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to improve on your roll up. If you find that you're having a hard time getting up from that laying down position, you feel like you can't get out of using momentum and uh, exercises that will help improve your core strength, your lower back flexibility, maybe your hamstring flexibility, and just overall help it be a more possible exercise for you to do. It's one of those exercises that with clients, they can get kind of frustrated about because they feel like they're strengthening their core, but they're still getting stuck in their roll up. And uh, what's tricky about it is it's not only just your abdominals that have to be working here, it's your legs that are grounding you and you also have to have good hip flexor and lower back mobility as well because those are things that will restrict you from getting up from it. First, let's go ahead and go over what is the Pilates roll up if you're not familiar with it. So for the Pilates roll up, you reach your hands up overhead and as you reach here, think about trying to still keep the belly in and the rib cage in, your hands will come up to vertical, taking a pause here. That's going to keep you from using momentum. You roll your chin forward to look at your toes, and then you lift yourself up and over so that you're creating a deep U shape here. As I reach my hands, my shoulders are still plugged backwards. I feel like my legs are heavy to the ground. And then I like to do my roll up where I just roll back the same way that I came up. I tuck that tailbone, I articulate my spine slowly, one bone at a time. Once my head hits the floor, my hands are stacked over my shoulders and I can reach my arms back again. A lot of times what I see is people just whipping themselves up and forward and I'm like, that's a really great way to give yourself a whiplash. <laughs> that doesn't seem very fun. One of the ways that I I introduce the roll up to my clients is actually with a half roll back. So bring, bring your legs, bend your knees so that your knees are pointing upwards towards the sky. You have your feet connected to the ground. Starting with the half roll back assisted, we take our hands connected to the back of our thighs. Sit up as tall as you can first. This is going to mimic that flat back when you're laying down onto the floor. And then we're going to curl tuck the tailbone under, like you think of a wheel, and you start to roll backwards, 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 until your arms fully extend here. So with your arms straight, slight support from your thighs, you should already feel, even though you're assisted with your hands, some abdominal work in this deep lower abdominal area. So I think from my belly button down towards my hips, that's what I'm trying to curve from. My lower belly transverse abdominus is what's working here. And my upper abdominals are trying to curl forward. So I'm no longer in that, that flat back position. I'm creating a C shape here with my spine. And then I'm going to exhale. See if I can restack my spine all the way back up at the top. That would be as if I were laying flat on the ground to make it a little bit harder reach your arms forward and start to roll backwards. See if you can come back to that same position and mimic that same scoop of the lower belly as you reach your arms forward. So here, drive that belly button backwards like you're pulling on a pair of pants. You know what I mean? When you're in a, trying to pull down a tight pair of jeans and get that top button on, pull your belly back away from that button so that you can button that pair of jeans on. And we're holding here, building up what's called an isometric hold an isometric contraction building endurance in that abdominal wall and maybe you feel a little bit of vibration here and then we come back up to a seated position practice that isometric to help you strengthen out those lower abdominals and once you feel like you want to build up from that lower abdominal hold we're going to add some arm movements now roll yourself halfway back 
And now here, we're adding some dynamic movements now. So we're adding on to that isometric hold, creating a little bit of distraction here now for the brain, building on that neuroplasticity. I'm gonna reach one arm upwards towards the sky. And as that arm comes up, I wanna double check, are my shoulders still facing forward? Was there any shifting in my hips? Bring that hand down. Other side, the arm comes upwards, lower it downwards. And as I continue to toy soldier march my arms, I want to try to keep my upper body as steady as possible. Once again, concentrating on that lower abdominal scoop. That's what I'm trying to build strength and endurance and stabilization in. A lot of times I see that people have one side that wants to dominate a little bit more than the other. And so when they come up for their roll up, they'll come up, let me take a pause and show you, they'll come up crunching to one side first and then coming forward because they have one side that's stronger than the other. So this half rollback position here where we're alternating sides is a sneaky way to work our obliques and what's called anti-rotation. So we're strengthening that core against rotating when we want to stay in this plane of motion here. So practice those alternating arm movements and that's gonna help to strengthen your lower abdominals and help to bring kind of like this symmetry, this equalness between your right and left spine. Another way to work on your roll up is in the laying down position. So we concentrated on two exercises that worked on your lower abdominals down here by your low belly button. And now we're going to work on those upper abdominals, reaching your arms to the sky. Cause remember we're trying to take out momentum here. I want you to lift your head, neck and shoulders up, trying to bring your ears between your arms. And then I want you just to hold it here. So you can build up that isometric here as well. And then once you've had your five second hold, we're gonna lower ourselves back down. Ooh, I can feel like that's one that I need to work on here. We'll practice it again. Arms to the sky, but I'm not trying to shrug up. I still have a little bit of connection into my back here with my shoulder blades. I'm gonna lift my head, neck and shoulders up. Notice that I didn't put say chin to chest because there's still a little bit of a gap here. You wanna think just like we had that wheel at our hips, we're trying to create a wheel at our shoulders as well. So we're curling up and over for our roll up. See if you can keep your arms at your sky here as you're in that isometric hold. One thing that I see sometimes in the roll up is people drop their hands when they're curling forward. So that would look like still trying to use that momentum, except now that momentum doesn't come from the neck. It comes from dropping the hands so that you can kind of change where your center of gravity is. We want to try to think about reaching over a beach ball to come up and forward. And so that's why we're creating that hold, that isometric hold with the arms up and trying to get the ears kind of in between those arm bones. And that's another way that you can work on building that upper abdominal strength to come up and over. Another common thing that I see when people are doing their roll-ups is that their legs will lift up from the ground as they're trying to roll forward. So it'll look something like this. As they're rolling forward, they come up and their legs lift up as they're trying to come forward. And this next exercise that I'm gonna show you is gonna help address that. Because I can tell you, make your legs heavy all day long, but I think that this next standing exercise is really gonna help you understand what I mean by that in terms of positioning of your body. So here, as I'm standing, it's basically like you're laying down on the ground position, except we've just flipped it now to vertical. I have my heels stacked underneath my knees, stacked underneath my hips, and then shoulders stacked right above everything else. We're gonna go into what's called a roll down. Start with your hands upwards towards the sky. 
And what I see a lot of times when people go into their roll downs is that they'll stick their booty back to dive themselves forward. And notice how when you stick your booty backwards, that's kind of like that leg lifting position that I just showed you moments ago from the floor. So to help strengthen not just your abs, but help to build up that sense felt memory in your body, we're actually gonna try to keep our bottom over our heels, over our feet here. And even as I said that, I already felt my glutes tighten, my inner thighs tighten to help keep my lower body in that supportive base. And those are exactly the same muscles that you need when you're in your roll up as well. Cause your roll up is not just an abdominal exercise. Your legs are also working to help create a supportive base for you. Keep those legs standing right over your feet. Take your hands up to the sky and imagine that you're on the high dive, trying to dive forward and over into the water. Your weight kind of distributes a little bit more into those toes as you roll down. And as you're in this rolled over position, notice how it's the same position for your roll up. I've got my arms in between or my head in between my arms. I'm creating that deep U scoop. And I'm also trying to keep my hips directly over my ankles here. So now as I come up, I'm going to try to keep that same positioning. Notice where your weight distribution is. If your weight distribution is too far into your heels, your bottom will shoot backwards behind your feet. So go ahead and shift your weight so that it's about 50, 50 for your front of your foot and your back of your foot, and then squeeze those thigh bone energies together and start to pull your navel backwards and restack your spine up bone by bone by bone to come back up. And we go again, practice it again, belly in. We have that same putting on your jeans energy and we dive forward over into the water. We don't want to hit that diving board as we go down and scoop that belly button backwards. Try to keep your hips over your ankles. I like to use a mirror or a camera for this to make sure that my hips are in the alignment that I want. And I'll notice too, as I emphasize that forward energy, that I have a little bit more stretch into my lower back here. So a lot of times people think that it's just your abdominal strength that's keeping you from your roll up. It's also that hamstring and lower back flexibility as well. So sometimes I like this even better for people that have tight backs because they can go to the position that works within their natural range of motion. Their body positioning will naturally tell them where their range of motion is. They can take a moment, breathe into it, help to regulate their nervous system with the deep relaxing breaths, encourage some change in the back of their legs and their lower back. And then from there, we build up the strength as we come back into our standing position. And over time, in that inverted position, they'll naturally start to build a little bit more lower back and hamstring flexibility there. This is also a really great exercise to do up against a wall. So I could do my roll down with a wall up against me and that wall will give me feedback if my butt is going backwards behind my feet or not, because I'll ram into it. <laughs> So try out those exercises, the half rollback with the isometric hold, the half rollback with alternating arm raises, the C curl lift in that supine, that laying down position, also with the abdominal hold and your standing roll downs. And let me know how it goes. Try it out semi-regularly, incorporate it in one, two, maybe even three times a week. And tackle that roll up a couple weeks later and see how your movement has improved, your movement has progressed just by incorporating in these other little building blocks for that exercise. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, that thumbs up really helps me to let me know that you enjoyed this video, you wanna see more videos like this, and I would love to know what other exercises in the Pilates system or even in the weight training room that you would like to see broken down so that you can do them better, more efficiently, and get more out of it so that it can help you reach your goals. If you'd like to connect with me, I am on Instagram and on TikTok. You can find me at 
Laura Melgar Fitness on both of those platforms. I love connecting with you, hearing from you, and seeing what you guys are up to as well. If you're not already subscribed to my page, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you can keep learning and growing and we can reach our goals together. Have a good one. I'll see you in my next video.